Hey guys, it's Wednesday the 6th and normally I don't vlog during the game streams, but it's been super hype because one, <laughs> roll up the rim starts today. Will I win a Jeep? Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Also, in chat, it's Purple Freak's birthday. Purple Freak often gifts a lot of subs in chat. And today, on their birthday, they've gifted 21 subs. Like, on their birthday. That's just so generous. So, shout out to Purple Freak. <laughs> but yes, I'll be rolling up the rim a lot in upcoming live streams. But we must consult the conch first. Every once in a while, I open the conch app and pull the string. And she has to give us permission to roll up the rim. Although first I have to finish the drink, of course. It's bad luck to roll up the rim before you finish your drink. Magic conch shell. Let me see those conch emotes. Okay guys, conch emotes and Timmy's emotes. If you're not subbed, you can use the praise it emote and like a coffee cup emoji. <laughs> Magic conch shell. Can we roll up the rim? Maybe someday. All right. Magic conch shell, can we roll up the rim now? I don't think so. Hey Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. Sure, 20 minutes. Our 20 minutes are up, it's time to once again try. Magic conch shell, I've got the volume maxed here. Can we roll up the rim now? Yes. <gasps> here we go. Let's full screen this. Oh, what just happened? Here we go. We're first roll up the rim of the year. Da, 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 da. Gotta show both cameras. <laughs> okay. It is. Please play again. <laughs> I rolled up the French side first. Here we go. There's the full thing. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Precious PP. Okay, the stream is over and I'm making some lunch. I have some leftover sausage from yesterday, but I'm gonna make more green beans and more rice. I have my lunch, got an invoice sent out again because I had to change something on it. And now I am testing out some stuff with my printer. I'm trying to see if my printer can print two PDF pages on one sheet of paper. There is a setting to do that, but we'll see if this actually works. <laughs> of course, Kiki is here, keeping an eye on things. Um, no, it did not work. <laughs> it, what? Cancel, cancel, I hit cancel, oh my god. Okay, well I canceled it so this half is gone. This is supposed to be one sheet, and instead of, instead of combining two pages on one sheet, it's doing two sheets for one page, like what? Oh yeah, okay, that's making more sense now. <laughs> Oops, okay, that's not right. It said tiling, so that's what I thought. Maybe this is what I want. Two page print. Four page print. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is what I want. Oh, hell no. It's trying, it's like pages 140 and the number keeps climbing. Cancel, cancel. I said pages eight to nine only. Here it says total two sheets of paper, but it doesn't know. It doesn't know what it wants. I'm just wondering if I should run out and get different paper because I do have two types of printer paper, but the one I'm almost out of, it's like a nicer, thicker paper. This is just a really thin, cheap paper. Like, not even the blacks look very black on this paper. Oh, yes. That's what I wanted. Here we go. Perfect. If I do run out to get paper, I could also get a binder for these. Because that's what I want to do is print out all the pages in this and put it in a binder. But it's so many pages. I wanted to split it to be two things per sheet of paper. What this is, is a color catalog thingy. I was contacted by Sarah Renee Clark to check it out, and she set me up as an affiliate uh, for her finger majigger. So this is not the official video I'm making about it. I'm gonna make a video on my art channel, but I will have my link down below if you're interested in checking it out. It's like a whole bunch of swatches. Hold on, that's all the about stuff. Yeah, and then it looks like this. 
Yes, yes. I want to try opening it up on my iPad. I just have it charging right now because you can actually click on stuff in this. So, yeah. I just like physical copies of stuff though, so I want to try printing it out. I'm just going to try one more printout with the same paper but go to high quality. Usually if I print high quality on regular paper, the colors are dark and icky, but we'll see. We'll see. Because right now this is too too blown out. The blacks are just not black enough. And because the whole point of this is it's color swatches, I want the colors to be accurate. The high quality printout does look better. Like look at these two pinks. I'm not sure how well it'll show up on camera, but this just looks a lot richer. It'll take me a lot longer to print it out this way, but it'll be worth it. Still don't think I want this paper though. I just feel like if I'm gonna use the ink to print off something nice, I want it to be on nice paper. So I'm gonna run to the store. The only thing about not printing it off first is I don't know how thick of a binder I need. Do I want the one inch or the one and a half? The entire thing is like 350 pages. And if this can hold 220, I guess when I buy the stack of paper, I can see how thick it is and how many there are in the stack. No purple though, no purple. Any guesses which color I want? Any guesses, any guesses? Pink. Ooh, this is a really nice turquoise color too. But pink. Not pink, pink. <laughs> Although thicker might be better if I want to add my own pages in the future. That 220 sheet capacity might just be for lined paper, right? So I'm gonna grab this. Oh, I guess the paper's right there. I was just about to say, I wonder if it's here or in the computer like electronic section. It's right here. There's not much to choose from though. Looks like my options are 20 pound, 22, or 24. Might go with the 24. If this is 500 sheets, then I don't need this big of a binder. I can get the skinny one, I think. I'm going with the one inch. The backyard is looking like a crime scene. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Decoy printer. Just kidding, it's not a decoy. It has some ink in it that I need. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you So long I met you in the So I am waiting on pages to print and it's taking forever. So I am going to sort my buttons. I get asked all the time why I don't just sort them as I press them. And I just feel like it takes longer. It's kind of like with my buttons, how I grade them all first and then I pin them to their backings and then like I'll do it in like little batches. I'll take maybe 10 to 15, I don't know, 
at a time, pin them to their backings, and then I'll take those same ones and then stick them in their sleeves. And it's not like I'm just doing one from start to finish. I do them in batches because it's faster that way when you're doing the same task back to back and then switching to a different task and doing that one repeatedly back to back. So it's like that with this where I'm pressing buttons and if I stop after every single button I press and then how will my containers, containers laid out and I'm like, okay, where does this one go? Like that takes a long time. I think it's faster to just grab a bunch after the fact. Like I can see a bunch of Zuko's right here. I can just go in and scoop up those Zuko's and put them in a pile. And I can do that for certain ones that are really recognizable and then put them away and then go do more. It's just the way I like to do it, I guess. Plus I just have so many containers, so many buttons. Having this all out every time I press buttons is just too much. <laughs> I think I will put buttons directly in the bins as I go. The only problem is I will still need to do piles for some of them, especially considering not all buttons fit in the containers. Like now this Zuko thing is full. I don't have room for any more Zuko. So if any more pop up, they have to go in a separate pile to go in a separate container. Because then I have this, which has the extras in it. But yeah, I just wanted to mention something about yesterday's vlog. Well, it's not even really about yesterday's vlog. It's related to it because I organized my clothes. But people have been telling me pretty much since the basement flooded to watch the Netflix show Tidying Up because it's about decluttering and all that. I actually have watched it. I might have not watched the last couple episodes. I'm not sure, but I watched quite a few. And the reason I didn't fold my clothes like she does in the show is because I wasn't planning on going through my clothes. I was just putting them away. I just folded them how I normally do. Because after watching the show, I was like, oh, I have to eventually go through my clothes and sort them like that and fold them like that. But I didn't know when I was going to get around to that. And yesterday I had no intentions of doing that. It just sort of ended up that way because I needed space in my drawers. But I had just folded them a normal way. I didn't want to refold them that way. Thanks, Kiki. I will eventually, but I was just like, okay, that's a task for another day. <laughs> so that's why I didn't do her vertical folding method in the drawers, but I will at some point. What was this latest amount of printing done? Gotta start a new one. I've been doing like 20 to 30 pages at a time, just so I can keep an eye on ink levels and whatnot. I've got our La Carte's live stream on, even though it's not live anymore, but I'm watching it. <laughs> I did end up with piles because, like I mentioned, these fill up and then they have to go in baggies. And so it's a combination of putting some directly in the bins and making piles. Container number one is empty. Moving on to number two. These are the ones I need to reprint. And... I thought I had more pressed. Like there are some here that are not restocked at all. And so I must have the circles cut somewhere. I know I have some, I, I found some the other day. Gotta look at my drawers. I think there's more than I anticipated though. Like I have no Mario ones here. Villagers low, I have low Harry Potter ones. Even for some of them where their containers full, they do not have nearly enough refills. Like, even my Pokemon ones, I need more. For the starters, anyway. The Evolutions are looking pretty good. The Porion's unusually low. There are Adventure Time ones that are super low. And I'm like, what? I thought I have more somewhere. I'm starting to really second guess my timeline for things. I'm remembering other button designs I wanted to do. I'm remembering somebody didn't finish. Like, Princess Mononoke, I think she's sketched and lined, but not colored. And there's other ones I want to do, and I'm just thinking, huh, considering getting my enamel pins up online for February 1st originally, then I was like, okay, I'm going to push it back to around February 14th, and now I'm like, should I really open my store two weeks before the convention? Because I'm going to be packaging orders like mad, while I'm also trying to con prep like mad, like it's kind of stupid, I should probably wait till the convention's over, and then sell my pins online. It also makes more sense with quantities. Like if I don't sell many enamel pins at the convention, those can go up online instead of saving some for the convention and then potentially not selling them all. I just feel like waiting till March 4th to 5th for the online store is just too far in the future though. It's a whole month away, man. Actually, you know what? I forgot about stickers. It'd be nice to have a couple new sticker sets 
and I need to see if any existing ones need to be restocked. I thankfully have a lot of leftover sticker stock, and so if some of them need restocking, it probably shouldn't be too much, but yeah, I forgot about that too. Oh, so maybe I should. Maybe I should wait till March for the enamel pin sales. Ugh. This here is still going. This is taking a really long time. I also didn't notice it stopped printing at one point because I made an, a new batch to start printing and it stopped after the third sheet because it ran out of black ink and I didn't notice. So that was a bit of wasted time. This batch is almost done. There are just a couple pages after it and I think I will just print the rest during the live stream and that way it's still done by the time the live stream is over. But I am going to end the vlog here, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. So these guys in here. These can go in the drawer. Actually gonna add this stuff.